if you have theoretical knowledge about the construction of a capacitor well that's a good thing and you should have that but do you think is it enough uh, to get into deeper into the capacitor well the answer is no if you want to get deeper into the capacitor you need to also have the uh, knowledge of practical construction of a capacitor so to help you guys with that here uh, presenting the video which will definitely help you regarding the practical construction of a capacitor before getting into the video i would first like to announce that in this video we are only going to cover uh, the practical construction or you can say constructional detail uh, of the capacitor and rest of the details of capacitor we are going to cover in our upcoming video so if you want to get the updates you can simply subscribe to our channel or you can find us uh, on facebook or uh, instagram we will find the link to that uh, at the end of the video so let's get started with the video before getting to the practical world a bit of theory is needed so let's see uh, some theoretical part about the construction of a capacitor so if you want to make a capacitor what you will need you will need a uh, two conducting plates right and in between that uh, you will need a insulating medium which you already have for example air in between this two plates you already have air that means you already have a insulating medium but if you place something into that like for example say glass your uh, capacitance will increase so for example uh, in this case let's say we have uh, uh, taken the glass as a insulating medium and uh, to connect it we will need two connecting wires right and this will complete the construction of a capacitor right now we have a simple or a proper definition for capacitor capacitor is a set of two conductors separated by a dielectric now most of the students they get confused right here by a dielectric so the question is what is dielectric so it is very simple dielectric is nothing but the insulating medium you have used here your insulating medium is called as a dielectric so you can change this word by an insulating medium which is one and the same so this diagram will show you the uh, constructional detail practic theoretical constructional detail of a capacitor so to summarize this section we can say uh, to make a capacitor we will need uh, two conducting plates right then an insulating medium and connecting wire so if you have all uh, this three uh, stuff then uh, you can make a capacitor but nowadays as the technology has grown up uh, the conducting plates are now replaced by uh, some thin paper or you can say thin uh, aluminum foil or any conducting material coil uh, to understand you can watch this image right here you can see uh, the plates are replaced by the aluminum foil this is uh, for example you can say to understand this is a positive foil and this is a negative foil and in between what you will need you will need an insulating medium or a dielectric so we have inserted uh, some dielectric paper dielectric in between this and we have connected two electrode to the fo uh, foils two connecting wires to the foil so this is the uh, modern construction of a capacitor and uh, we are going to check this out whether the capacitors uh, you know constructed as per the theory or not so now we will move to our practical section and we will check out whether our theory is true or not so uh, this is the capacitor on which we are going to perform our experiment uh, so this is uh, basically 440 volt ac capacitor 50 hertz uh, which is generally used for in induction motors right so now let's say what is inside this capacitor for that we need to break it and there you go uh, it is you know covered with a insulating medium uh, which is uh, you know uh, different for different capacitor like for high voltage it, it can be oil but in this case it is it is uh, you know epoxy material uh, it's like a uh, rubber actually uh, here you can see so it, it is to provide the extra insulation to the capacitor so uh, this is our basically the capacitor and now we will see what is inside this uh, you know insulation and to do that we will uh, remove uh, this 
insulation and find it out what is inside it so uh, as you can see the silver foil here that is uh, you know nothing but your aluminium coil foil sorry and this is your ground conductor uh, which is coming to the ground side and uh, there is a positive terminal also we are going to see that so here you can see as we have stated it is made up of uh, aluminium foils and here you can see uh, the foils right here the silver color foil and the you know white you are seeing the white uh, is nothing but your dielectric or the insulating medium so the uh, that aluminium foil is uh, you know uh, manufactured uh, with these uh, uh, insulating medium so you don't need to buy a extra insulation for that so only thing you have to do you have to wrap up uh, this foil uh, on something and your capacitor is ready so this is your uh, you know and it is it has a number of layers as you can see it has a number of layers of that aluminium foil here you can see it in the details the number of layer for that we have uh, uh, you know taken it out number of layer it consists of and your foil uh, if you remove it you will have to uh, you know two three hours you will need to remove all this thing it, it is rolled up uh, heavy quantity of that foil it is rolled up there so this is your ground conductor it is directly connected to the ground uh, there is no rocket science in that and you can uh, you know remove it uh, if you want there you go this is your ground conductor the black wire indicates the ground and the this uh, yellow wire is your uh, live wire and that is that was connected uh, to you know that foil so this is uh, this is the material on which uh, this is plastic actually basically a plastic on which uh, that foils are uh, wounded uh, no, so it has. It is the basic, simple, uh, practical construction of the capacitor we have seen right here. So in this video, we saw the construction detail about the capacitor. Uh, I'll be making more videos on the capacitor. So if you want to get the update about the next videos, you can simply uh, register to my website that is www.theelectricalguy.n. Uh, to get the updates you can also find us on facebook instagram and uh, youtube to get the next update so thank you for watching keep watching keep learning